What you're about to hear is a phone conversation with Karen Weiss, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk. I'm Ralph Bond, and in the conversation to follow, Karen outlines the benefits of the new roundabout design features found in the Subscription Advantage Pack for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. Karen, before we look at the details of the enhancements that the Subscription Advantage Pack for Civil 3D 2010 brings for designing roundabouts, before we go into those details, though, tell me a little bit about what's the motivation behind creating these enhancements in the first place. Well, you know, I think in other parts of the world, roundabouts are a very common thing. Uh, but here in the U.S., they're really just starting to be used more and more. And I know in Wisconsin, where I live, one of the things that's becoming a requirement is for every intersection um, rehabilitation or any intersection that's going to be reconfigured, they're going to require that you analyze a roundabout option. And so even though you're not going to do a full-blown detailed roundabout design, just having to lay out an initial roundabout to determine if it will fit within existing right-of-way or within utility constraints or anything like that, it's going to take quite a bit of time. And so that's happening all over the country, in the U.S. Um, in particular. And so just in listening to what our customers are saying, that is the motivation behind putting this feature in the subscription advantage pack. Now that we have the stage set, Karen, let's drill into some of the details of those enhancements. Sure. Well, the roundabout feature in the subscription advantage pack is really just another example of a feature in, in AutoCAD Civil 3D that's intended to streamline time-consuming tasks. So I kind of think it's similar to the new intersection design tool that was introduced in Civil 3D 2010. So really the goal of the roundabout feature is to enable a user to quickly create and edit a 2D roundabout model. I mean, and that's really the whole essence of this new feature. So the roundabout feature itself will allow you to not only design the central island and circulating roadways, but it also allows you to, to design the entry and exit roads, including designing their width and their exit and entry radius. So in the past, prior to this feature being included, each piece of the roundabout would have to be designed and created separately in Civil 3D. So you'd be creating separate alignments for each of those pieces. And even beyond that, they wouldn't know about each other. So you wouldn't have that editing capability where if you made a change to something like the entry road width, it would impact the rest of the roadway. There's also dynamic um, capabilities so that if the approach road changes, so if you need to change the road um, angle that's coming into the roundabout, the roundabout reconfigures itself automatically in a similar way to the intersection design tool. Now, because roundabout design is such an iterative process where small changes in you know, geometry can have a substantial effect to operational and safety performance, you know, being able to edit the design as an integrated object like that is really important and will help people get their work done a lot faster. For more information, visit www.autodesk.com forward slash advantage packs. 